welcome sweet friends to the channel frugal money saver my name is emmy my husband is paul we're so happy you have joined us today we are going to share 10 wasteful habits that are costing you quite a bit of money that you may not even realize you're doing so let's get right into this video with number one of course you know the first thing we're going to talk about is wasting food wasting food is so common and it's something that a lot of frugal people do without even realizing so how can you avoid this first of all don't cook more food than you plan on eating for a day or two unless you're specifically cooking it to freeze it plan your menus around leftovers make sure you check your produce draw regularly to make sure that produce is not going bad chop it up celery carrots whatever it may be and get it in the freezer wasting food is literally like taking money and throwing it in the garbage and it is so avoidable number two excessive waste and use of paper products paper products are extremely expensive and when i see people taking a handful of paper towels to wipe up a tiny spill i actually cringe they are a one-time use product if you cannot avoid using paper products paper towels paper napkins paper plates cups etc then try to be frugal with the amount you use at least this is a tremendous amount of money that you can save if you either cut down or do away with paper products number three another really wasteful habit is not using less of a product that you actually can use less of watch out for those manufacturer suggested amounts everything from laundry soap to toothpaste to hand soap dishwashing liquid and it goes on and on on the back of a shampoo bottle it would tell you to lather rinse and repeat no one needs to wash their hair twice in a shower same thing with laundry detergent cut it in half of what they suggest see if your clothes come out clean i bet you they will we water down our dish soap we water down our hand soap there are so many ways to cut items in half i know people cut sponges in half you'll still get the same results but you'll be using half of what they suggest you should use number four cut back on your water usage if possible if you are brushing your teeth turn that water off this is a wasteful habit that's not only bad for your pocket if you pay for water which we do but it's also bad for the environment you just don't want to waste water if you're washing dishes by hand like we do we turn off the water while we wash and then we rinse them all at once so that water is not running 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 and while that water is heating up put a pot under and catch some water and water your plants or flush the toilet with that water this is all little simple ways to not waste and save some money number five stop wasting your oven heat i don't know whether you have an electric stove a propane stove a gas stove but whatever it is that oven uses a ton of power don't just bake one baked potato in the oven fill that oven up if you're going to bake potatoes bake several of them and maybe a loaf of bread or a cake so next time you go to put something in the oven to cook think is there something else that needs cooking that maybe you could use for tomorrow or possibly cook that potato in an air fryer or something else that may not use as much power this is just a great way to save money and use less energy number six stop wasting electricity i know that so many of you will leave the tv running all day it's like background music but can i suggest turning that tv off if you want background music how about putting on a small radio i mean good old-fashioned radio will definitely use a lot less power than a television if you leave the room turn the television off turn the lights off start really being aware put your computer to sleep 
Do things that will save you money and you're not wasting energy yet again. Number seven, stop wasting your time. Time is money. You're running to the store every day because you forgot items on your grocery list. That costs you not only gasoline, but it costs you time. How much time is wasted doing non-productive running around? It really does add up over time. Number nine, check the setting on your washing machine. Don't waste hot water. We have a setting on our washing machine called cold tap, which means basically I'm washing my clothes with the cold water that comes right out of my tap. And I never knew this before and I looked it up. I also have a cold water wash. Well, a cold water wash actually adds cold water to the hot water. What? Who knew this? I had no idea. So if you have a tap cold water setting on your washing machine, I advise you to give it a try and see how your clothes come out. Number nine, stop buying items that you will never use or never eat. That is extremely wasteful. A lot of people, if the item is on sale, and I have been guilty of this myself, buying a surplus, buying extra of something, and then I end up not using the food. I mean, it will never go to waste because we'll give it to a food pantry, or if it's an oversupply of, let's say, wrapping paper or something, I can always donate it. But think before you buy a surplus of everything. Don't waste your money buying something that you'll never eat or never use in a reasonable amount of time. Just wasteful. Number 10, stop wasting your energy on negative emotions. You want to save some money? Try to stay away from the emotions of jealousy and envy and boredom. All these are kind of negative emotions and what they trigger is us to spend money to feel good. Fill your mind, fill your thoughts, fill your days with positive information, positive people, positive music. It will change your outlook so much and honestly, I promise you, it will save you money because you will be content. You won't be looking at what someone else has and envying it. You won't be wasting money on things that are not important. We hope this video was encouraging. We hope it was a gentle motivator to stop wasting valuable assets. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. We ask you to be well, we ask you to be safe, and we wish you blessings until our next video. Please don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe.